Hello the kids of the high, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were finding out that the local Night Stalkers had basically earned a mutation through Stealth Boys, uh, apparently being chewed on at the time. If I still have that in my inventory, I think I should. Um, I think so, anyway. Uh... Yeah, chewed stuff boy. They had been uh, feasting on it a little bit, and they had earned a mutation that they should not have had. So, that explains why they had developed their own little stealth field on their own, more or less. So, Dr. Is Henry. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, I found a chewed up stealth boy in the Night Stalker lair. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, mm -hmm. this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. Yeah. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. <sighs> why Lily and not some other Nightkin? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Okay. What are the risks? Because I want to know now. Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. Oh. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Yeesh. I'll talk to Lily then. I'll be waiting. Alright. Ah, uh, oh boy. Well, time to talk to Lily about what's going on. Heavens to Betsy, but Mr. Betty met a nasty end. I hope you've realized, Pumpkin, that crime doesn't pay. Well, considering I did it to him, that makes sense. Uh, do you still want to help Dr. Henry run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. <sighs> all right. Well. Tell Dr. Henry to proceed with the experiment once Lily is present, which is... The equipment is. is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. This is for the greater good, but at the same time... Uh, go ahead Very and start well. the test. Please, stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Oh yeah, I'm observing. I want to make sure everything's going the way it's supposed to. Hey. Stay over here. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Mm. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Hmm. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment. Once I've analyzed the results. Oh boy. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over and we'll be on our way. You you know that we can't be doing that. Keen, you know we can't do that. Okay, I gotta I gotta step My in here. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Wow. There is no need to go that far either. Uh what do you what you do in the wasteland affects all the mutants here, but you didn't think about that, did you? 
No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, Schumann. You've made your point, and I yeah. withdraw my request. You say request. You were making a very, you know, valid threat Jesus there just three seconds ago. Taking care of regular folks yet. Well, I mean, because the NCR is still stretched thin as fuck right now, I'm pretty sure. They All right. It. Nice work with the Nightkin. Yeah. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their mind set to it. Well, it helps when my I got a lot of useful high. data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's All occurred right. to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Uh, you said those Night Stalker brains were similar. What, what about just testing those? Uh, wait. I understand. Get back to me with an answer as soon as you can. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. We might be able to do this without having to affect Lily. Hey, give me a second. I just need to find something to up my science. Uh, Programmer's Digest. Have you come to a decision on Lily? I'll need to know before I can do anything else. Uh, use neuropeptide stimulators on a Night Stalker brain. Results should be similar to a live brain. That's brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Quite frankly, so I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised that I was able to think of it. Hey, I managed to do it without it adversely affecting Lily. Oh, I'm the best. Hello. Calamity. Uh, she was helping with the whole thing. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Alrighty. You have an interesting name. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. Hmm. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. That's Never decent. really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Does anyone other than super mutants come up this way? Prospectors looking for salvage usually. They always run when they see the mutants. Well, yeah. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. The great cons. How? Okay. <laughs> that that's a shock to me. Uh, what do you do here? Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the uh I'm also handy with tools. Um, Once in a while, I ventured down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't finish the uh, prior statement, considering I just helped with it. <laughs> anyway, uh, show me what you have for sale. All right. Because you you seem like a decent vendor. Oh, you are. <laughs> okay. Let me look at all the stuff you actually have. Um. A lot of good stuff. Uh, a lot of decent stuff, anyway. Wow, you have a lot of stim packs. Jeez. Alright, um... Not entirely sure I can sell you all of my stuff. Um... Oh, the Oh Baby! <laughs> I forgot I got that. Oh, Jesus. I could sell it to them. There's an idea. There we go, whoa. I forgot that gets a lot of caps. Okay, um. Hmm. What could I get in the meantime? Right away. I don't think I can get that from the, uh. Little chips. Uh. The Sierra Madre chip vendor thing, can I? I don't think for right away I can. So, um. Gonna get all of those. Um. Trying to think what I can get that I can't already get from the chip vendor. Uh, I know we can get medics. Um, doctor's bags, definitely. Dirty water, I mean... I could always purify that. There's an idea. Hmm. Uh, junk food. Use that. God, I don't think she has enough. 
That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll accept the loss this time. Yes, you're doing business with you. Aye, that is true. Alrighty. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Okay. I think I've done everything around here that I possibly can. Let's bother talk to Keen. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Well, did d okay. I guess you were really mad about bother earlier. I don't want anything to do with you. I'm going. Jesus. All right. Uh, I need to find a brain for Rex. Still. But other than that, I think I helped out this place. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> Lily's going over here to watch the big horners now. Alrighty. Uh, what were some of the brains that we could get? We could get one from the fiends, which would be Violetta. I think I have it somewhere, maybe. Nope, I do not have the that dog's brain. Um, that one is addled with Jet, so that would make him far more aggressive. But, uh, Kaisar's dogs I want nothing to do with. Wow, my headset mic just fucked up. <laughs> Again, just blasted my voice into my ears. And, hmm, I guess Old Lady Gibson's really the only logical choice. Huh. Uh. Yeah, that's really the only logical choice we got. So, I'm gonna head to Old Lady Gibson. That would be where the. Uh, dup, dup, dup. That would be where Violetta's brain would be. Um, Gibson's scrapyard. There we go. Cottonwood Cove would be where the other brain is, and I'm not heading there. And not anytime soon. All right. And... Where's she at? Hmm. Must be inside. Hey! Ampasura. You cute. You cute. All right. Let's go inside. And... What do we got? Oh! Reyna! Oh, that's a cute, adorable name that reminds me of an anime. Because I'm a weeaboo. <laughs> okay, where's she at? Oh, she's over here. Uh, we got Ray. Alright. Um, old Lady Gibson. Oh, I should probably turn on the light so I can see her. So, you're back. Yeah. yeah. Where did we leave off? Um, Doc Henry sent me. I need a new brain for my cyber dog. Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As right. for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish, if you ask me, but... A little bit, yeah. Ray is pretty old, and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. Ray, okay. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Ray's like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. Well, lucky for you, I have the 700 caps to do... <laughs> wow. Oh, Wow. <laughs> I'm offering Ray immortality of a sort. Are you really going to put a price on that? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not expect that to be an option. I don't think I've had a high enough barter to actually do that before. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm doing it just because I haven't seen the response. Uh, are you really going to put a price on that? Fair enough. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. Oh. Oh, my gods. Oh, my gods. Oh, thankfully there's no body. I would have felt so bad. Oh, jeez. The noise was bad enough. Oh. Yeesh. Okay, let's make a couple of new things. While I'm here. Oh, Jesus. Why did it have to be that? Why, out of all things, it had to be that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he... And the way she said it, too, just fucking sounded like creepy as shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, at least we have a uh, 
decent dog brain. Uh, let's go back to Jacobstown. And implant the brain into a uh, Rexy boy. Why not? All right. Okay, those noises are distracting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, not to mention utterly creepy. It is thankful <laughs> that these guys are actually nice. These guys and gals, rather. It, uh, it would be inappropriate to assume. Because <laughs> most, like I said last episode, most sexual, uh, secondary sex characteristics have been completely and utterly destroyed from the FEV. So it's almost impossible to tell based on looks alone. So, that unless you see them the nude, you know. <laughs> the one you can see for miles, okay. I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Well, is there true. something else I can do for you? It's weird how you switch into a southern accent and then switch into a proper accent right when I'm actually conversing with you. Anyway, I have a new brain for Rex. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. Alrighty. This brain is from Ray, one of old Lady Gibson's dogs. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. All right. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. All righty. Sounds good. Have a seat. This will take a while. All right. He, he, that increased his attack damage. Uh, if I remember right, the jet addled brain makes his uh, attacks faster. Uh, if I remember that right. It's been a while since I did this. Um, <laughs> the Faithful Protector perk. Oh, jeez. How did I get minor dehydration? How did that happen? Oh, uh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I need sleep, I need food, and I need water. Okay, let's fix at least two of those things. Huh? Got the food. Ooh, excuse me. The soda decided to talk back. And there's the water. Okay. Uh, how's the water and food? We're good. I do need sleep, though, still. Uh, Is how there goes something the, else uh, I can do for you? No, oh, yeah. Uh, how goes the research? Promising. But I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Fair enough. Alrighty, I'll let you do that. Yes, yes. Alright, have fun, buddy. Alright, now we've helped out our buddy Rexy Boy. He has a good, fresh brain. And he should be all good now. Let's go outside, huh? After getting all that work done, he might want to have a little trip outside, huh? Yeah? How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Get a little talking with you. Oh, you a happy dog. How you feeling, boy? Oh, you happy now? You're certainly looking better. <laughs> wow, that last one. I won't have to strip you for parts. Jesus, Howard Christ, man. <laughs> it's a, just a dog. Oh, that, that's, that's the beauty of, uh, it's the beauty of the early Fallout 4 stuff. Uh, where it was more roleplay heavy than it was uh, experience heavy like Fallout 4 is. It uh, lets you be a heartless bastard if you want to be. I was almost about to say another word. <laughs> but I realized I should not. Anyway, now that that's all taken care of, I think... Whoops, that's the wrong button. Um, there's... Am I supposed to talk to... Uh, Dup it up the, the king about it? No. No, it seems right after I'm done with that, it's done. Alrighty. Uh, the NCR has a robust network of informants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know this. Um, wild card side bets, huh? Huh. Okay. Well. Um... Now that that's all taken care of, there's not much else I need to do when it involves Rex, anyway. Because, uh, he's got his brain all settled up. He looks good. He probably feels good. And let's get a good look at some of the stuff on him. Because there's some, there's some stuff there. 
All right. Examine the painting of the bull on Rex's side. The weathered and fading. Well, you can pause that because it passes by way too fast. Examine Rex's brain case. Looks fresh and healthy. Nice. Mechanical parts. Battered, scorched, and scratched. Alrighty. Well, I mean, it's a, it's amazing he's still together right now, considering. But he is a good pupper. I give him that much. He's a good pupper. I think we should uh, let him go home to uh, the Lucky 38, maybe. There's an idea. I know, I know, buddy. I'd like to go to the, uh, I'd like you to go to the 38 for now. All right, there we go. So I don't need him right now anyhow. Maybe later for sure, but right now don't necessarily need him. All right, so we've done all we can for him, and I think we did a very bang up job when it comes to stuff around here in general. Helping out with the uh, Night Stalkers, the, or the Night Kin, rather, and the Super Mutants in general. So, I think we did a great job. Why are these fuckers still here? Why are you people still here? You're just running into rocks. The hell is wrong with you people? The fuck? Okay, these people have had multiple strokes. I'm just going to go along and uh, do my other thing, which is um, eventually do... Huh. Well, really, the only thing that's left that I haven't done is make contact with the Nellis Air Force Base and talk to the boomers. I could still do that for you, yes, man. I'm pretty sure I still should do that. So I'll do that next episode. How about that? Huh? Right before I head out for the main and most dangerous thing, which is, I think, this direction over here, maybe? Yeah, there it is. Canyon Wreckage, where we head on to the next DLC. But first, we want to deal with the Nellis Air Force Base. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, though. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and helping out our dear old Rexy boy and the Super Mutants of Jacobstown for you.